as a long-term care pharmacy, we provide the filling of prescriptions for those facilities. And so we receive all of the orders from them. We receive orders, that they receive orders from physicians. They provide them to us. Most of that is electronic now. Um, so they may enter it into their electronic health record system and we're integrated with those systems. So we receive that information electronically and then we'll fill those prescriptions. Uh, if there's clarifications that are needed, we'll call the facility, get um, additional information as may, may be necessary, or if there's a concern about a drug interaction or a dosage, or if we need to check uh, renal function, there's a lot of things that we might have to call the facility about. Uh, and then we'll fill those prescriptions and deliver them on a daily basis to the facility. So nobody from the facility ever has to leave to go pick up prescriptions. We fill all the prescriptions. Uh, we typically will do that at our pharmacy uh, locations throughout the country, but um, there are times where that's not uh, gonna be quick enough. And so we also provide um, backup systems. We provide emergency drug kits uh, in the facility so that there's um, doses that they can give immediately if that's warranted. Um, uh, there's a limited number of drugs that can be put in those kinds of systems. So there's times where those are not available. And so we also have relationships with local pharmacies that we can provide an order to and get those prescriptions filled. And then we'll have a courier pick it up and deliver it to the facility. Um, there's regulations requiring pharmacists to review patient charts in skilled nursing facilities on a monthly basis. And so we're out, um, normally out visiting those facilities, attending quality assurance meetings, reviewing every patient chart every month, regardless of who their pharmacy is, whether they use our pharmacy or another pharmacy, and make recommendations to the nursing staff, make recommendations to the physicians about clinical concerns that we might have, ways that we can enhance patients' lives, um, perhaps things that we need to be monitoring as far as lab values that we're not monitoring currently. A lot of regulations in long-term care, and a lot of them have to do with pharmacy and drugs and the way they're administered. And so we're trying to help them maintain compliance with all those regulations as well.